Hi, YouTubers and watchers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. This morning, I'm going to have a shave with a brand new razor from Sheldon Quinn and Global Shave, the Ice Razor. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It has some beautiful heft on it. It comes in gold and chrome silver plating. It is spectacular. This is a step up from the DE89L and the Mercur HD 34C. So if you're looking for something that has a little more aggression, uh, you might want to look at this three-piece razor. It has a handle, a base plate, and a cap. The handle is a good four inches long. It's made of noble brass. It weighs in at about, gee was almost three ounces. With the head uh, attached, you're looking at a good four ounce razor. Really, really nice heft on this. Also, if you look at the handle design, it's patterned right after the Gillette Tech fat handle. Here's the Gillette Tech fat handle here, and here is, let me show you, and here is the ice razor from Global Shave. And you can see, you can see that the design, overall design, everything is identical. Very, very close. So that's what they patterned after. So you have that great... Uh, fat handle feel, uh, only you have that increased length as well, which really makes it uh, wonderful uh, in the hand. And it has this great, great weight and heft, nice balance. Um, and again, uh, if the uh, if the Mercur HD 34C and the DEA 9L uh, are probably on an aggression scale from one to five at about uh, two and a half, this is probably a good solid three. So you're going up a half a click, but very smooth, very, very efficient. So we're going to shave with this. This is really a nice razor. I'm like, I'm excited. Um, I'm going to use an Astra razor blade. I'm going to use my Vikings blade, uh, Dark Raven synthetic shaving brush. I'm going to use Tabak shaving soap. I got some water right now on top of that softening up. My brush is soaking in the sink. Also going to start off with a little Vikings pre-shave cream, sandalwood, and red cedar. Haven't used this in a while. Just a little bit. Going to finish it off with uh, my Oz, my Allen Block, and something else new, <clears throat> Florida Water Aftershave. One of my viewers mentioned this. I was really curious, so I did a Google search. I found this. This comes in plastic bottles and also glass bottles. If you go right to the seller's website directly, you can buy these in glass bottles. And I bought this off of Amazon in plastic bottles. I'll have a link below to it. But boy, this has a classic, wonderful classic barbershop scent. That's why I'm pairing it up with the Tabak. Because Tabak has that same kind of old school barbershop feel. And then maybe a little bit of Nivea for upstairs. Let's wet the face. Let's get to it. This is really, I'm really looking forward to using this razor. All right, I'm just going to use a little bit of this cream. Not a lot. Just a little bit. About that much. That's it. That's all I'm going to use. All right, and just rub it into my hands a little bit. That's got it. Let's just move that out of the way. All right. Now, Tabak. Right there, it's right there. Tabak. Going to just dump off that excess water there. Going to get my brush here, and I'm going to well, gonna wring it out closer to the sink here and give it a couple of shakes. Okay, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and load that brush up and build that lather. Should be enough water on the brush and a little bit of the remnant of water that was in the bowl to really start a nice lather. Lathers quickly. And again, I like to swirl around until I start getting a little bit of cream here on the sides. And I'm right at that point, right there. I might have to add water as I go here uh, from the sink, just dip the bristles in. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Wow, that's fast. 
I am going to dip a little bit of, I'm going to get a little water here, dip the bristles in, get a little bit of water. Okay. How about that? Man, lathered up. That's fantastic. All right, it is a three-piece razor. So we're going to undo this guy here. There's the handle, base plate, cap. Set all those over there like that. And here's my Astro Blade. There it is, Astra. All right, let's take a look here. Beautiful. The blade alignment and balance is spot on perfect. I don't have to adjust this razor at all. I just drop the blade in and then just attach the handle and I'm ready to go. Really, really nice. And again, terrific, terrific heft. I'm just gonna beat up the uh, razor head a little bit here in some hot water. And then uh, swirl around the sink a little bit to bring up the temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Yeah. That is really, really, really smooth. Very nice, very efficient. Definitely, definitely a step up from the uh, 34C and the DE-89L. Wow, I don't know if you can hear that feedback or not, but boy, it's just, it's just cutting the whisker away so smoothly. Very nice, really, really nice. If you have larger hands and you want a larger, longer handled razor, this one will look. Here, let me show you what it looks like up against my Vikings Blade Chieftain, you can see. Just a, it's, it's longer. It's a little bit longer. It's got a little more handle to it. And here it is against my uh, father's, my late father's Gillette Super Speed. Look at that. It's a monster. Wow. Just to give you an idea of, of uh, size. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, very nice. Really a nice first pass. I think that the uh, pre-shave cream really helped, really did. Really, really helped. I mean, I have some slickness on my face here that is wonderful. But this razor really has taken advantage of that. And I think I'm going to be done in two passes here, really. I don't think I'm going to need a third pass. And again, look. Look at all that lather. Lather. <laughs> look at all the lather I have from Tabak. I mean, it's wonderful. Okay, we're going to go with uh, our second pass east to west across the grade. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Wow. 
again, that's really, really very, very nice. Wow. Nice, really nice. Well, we're going to go ahead and rinse, rinse. We're going to go ahead and drain <laughs> the sink. Yeah, okay, hurry up. Come on. All right. And we're going to do our two final rinses, one warm, one cold. This was incredibly, incredibly uh, slick shave this morning. This uh, Vikings Blade um, Black Forest Pre-Shave Cream really did a terrific job. Um, very, very slick. I didn't need a lot. Really slick. And of course, paired up with the top box worked wonderfully well. All right, so here's my warm water rinse. All right, very nice. Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch it over to cold water and do my cold water rinse. I'm just gonna wait for this to get nice and cold. Because there's something really invigorating about that cold water rinse. You know, you're closing your pores and just very stimulating. It's one of my one of my favorite stages in the wet shave, really. All right, here we go. Cold water rinse. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I got a nice clean towel. Clean fresh towel waiting for me right here. That was a nice shave. That was really nice. And that definitely is a step up. A good half step, a solid half step up from the Edwin Jagger DEA9L and the uh, 34C, no doubt about it. Something about the design of this razor head. Um, you're not hunting around for the angle. You can hit it right away, which is, um, very, very, very nice, very convenient, I guess you could say. Uh, Osma block, we're gonna rinse it under some cold water here and see what kind of feedback we got. Oh man, that's nice. No stinging, no zinging. Really nice, wow, very nice. Really terrific, maybe a mild zing here and there. But other than that, really nice. Okay, so just pat that aloe block dry and I got a little plastic dish here. And I'm um, just gonna set it right there like that. Now again, I, uh, I really, really recommend uh, an aloe block for your post shave routine. It has antiseptic qualities. It'll knock down uh, uh, Irritation from your shave micro abrasions. It'll heal small nicks and cuts that sort of thing So let me just mop up a little bit and I'll be right back and I'm gonna let uh, the aloe kind of set up a little bit and I'll be right back to finish this shave And again, I always say it in these videos as I'm wrapping up these synthetic brushes, they just clean up so well. Uh, yeah, they're just, they're, they're, they're wonderful. I mean, I, I'm using synthetic brushes more than I am the natural hair brushes. Of course, I use the natural hair brushes with shaving cream, but I think I'm kind of partial to the hard soaps and uh, just doing a face lather. And synthetic brushes are great for that. Um, but I do like using uh, shaving creams and pulling out a good badger or boar brush. But these synthetic brushes are just great uh, from a utility standpoint. They just build lather wonderfully well and they clean up so quick and easy. And this Vikings Blade Dark Raid and, and the uh, Fire Mare, uh, its complement, uh, its twin, so to speak, are just wonderful. Good for a daily driver and also nice size if you want to travel with it. So uh, really, really, really nice. That's all wrapped up there. So, now that the brush is clean and I got my mopped up over here, I'm kind of like a hippo at a water hole sometimes. We're gonna use the California, not California, the Florida water. I keep saying California, Florida water. Um, Florida water, and it's got this great old school barbershop scent, and it really does. It's got a little bit of uh, citrus in there, just. It's got a nice, 
got a nice brace to it too. Wow. That's nice. And you can kind of feel, you can kind of feel, you can feel the brace and as it's, as it's doing its thing, uh, there is a citrus, like a lemon lime, very subtle that comes out of it. But uh, in the bottle it has an old school barbershop scent, but when it hits your skin, it's something altogether uh, new. Uh, it really does. It kind of blooms right there on your face. That's really nice stuff. Okay, I'm using a little bit of uh, the Nivea here for my uh, head, just upstairs a little bit. And my thanks to the viewer who, who mentioned that. I can't remember who that was, but thank you for mentioning Florida Water. That really is nice stuff. I bought a three-pack. I'll have a link below. Um, glass bottles come in a dozen, a case of a dozen, and I think it's like 50 bucks. But, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't think to buy that much. <laughs> I've never tried it before, so I thought I'd just go in the three-pack. Great shave. Wow, that was great. Boy, Sheldon Quinn, I think, hit a home run with this one. This is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful razor. Uh, the Ice Razor from Global Shave. Again, it has this great design from the Gillette Tech fad handle. Uh, it's, it really is. It's like it's big brother. It's absolutely wonderful. And it comes in two finishes. It comes in a chrome and a gold. Uh, and... Uh, the knurling on this, this tight knurling pattern here, is wonderful while you're shaving. It gives you a very, very assured grip. And, um, you know, it has this flat end here, which is kind of neat. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but uh, here, let me just see. That's kind of neat because you can put it, stand it up just like that on the counter, which is kind of neat if you want to do that. And it just has a great overall look. It has this wonderful heft and weight to it. Nice balance and it's much more efficient than the DE89L and the Mercur HD34C. It really really is if you're looking to find something that's a little more uh, on the aggressive side but still uh, is uh, within the range of being mild. This might, you know, look at this. This might be a really really nice choice uh, especially if you're looking for a three-piece razor. Um, I know some there, there's a lot of three-piece razors out there that are on the mild side. This just steps that up a little notch, uh, half a notch. So if you're looking for a three-piece razor that gives you that, uh, boy, look to the Global Shave Ice from Sheldon Quinn. I think he's doing a, a wonderful job in bringing these terrific, terrific wet shaving products to the wet shaving community. Uh, I, I've said it over and over again, this is a great time to be doing the traditional wet shave. Get yourself a safety razor, get yourself some, uh, you know, shaving soap, get yourself, uh, you know, a brush, and, uh, and get to it. There are a lot of videos on my channel and a lot of other channels that will show you how to do it. And uh, it's a wonderful way to start the day. So there it is, the uh, ice uh, three-piece safety razor from Global Shave and Sheldon Quinn. Hey, that's it. That's all I wanted to mention to you. Thanks very, very much for uh, tuning in. Thanks for viewing. Please share. Please subscribe. Uh, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Uh, do you have a Gillette fat handle? Are you going to get one of these? Because it's got that same style handle to it, and it really is a beautiful, wonderful razor. Uh, and if you have larger hands or you're looking for something with a little larger handle, a little more heft, really a good choice. Um, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic trip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.